Good morning. Welcome to Morning Review. This is Kim Watson speaking on the 13th of April. Okay, looking at the euro dollar first, and really I do wonder whether we're going to see another test of the, the uh, 6th of March, uh, sorry, 6th of April lows. Um, it's edging down this morning, but we see this often in the mornings where it pushes in one direction for a while and then uh, completely reverses. So whether this is another fake out, we'll have to wait and see. Um, at the moment, though, looking looking weakish with the alleys running running off south. We do have, uh, of course, the daily pivots uh, above us, and we are just just tight coming into this sort of zone of uh, support where we've, in the past we've had so so much demand. So just we need to watch this, see if it reverses. It starts reversing uh, uh, earlier this morning, post eight o'clock. Would be looking for the potential long side there uh, back. Uh, to, to all those clump of moving averages that sit in the middle. Ugly, ugly looking bunch, I may add. Okay, uh, that may in itself provide resistance, although we, we, we've been chopping through the, all those averages, the uh, 50, 34, 200, 21s all over the place. Near enough every day, we've chopped one way or the other through them. So whether they'll provide much resistance back in towards that pivot, we'll see. Okay, cable. Okay, from David's perspective, well, yesterday it did end up slightly positive. Um, real messy old four hour charts here. Uh, and, well, it's, uh, it's still sitting on that, uh, I say still sitting, but it's back to sit resting on the handrail in that 50, uh, alley 50. Already hit the daily pivot there. Perhaps after 8 o'clock, if it starts breaking down, we'll be looking for the, the, the uh, yesterday's lows, the 200, the S1 sort of area uh, as a possible target. Uh, just need to see how we roll from here. Um, nothing significant. We've got, I mean, we, we, we've both these markets again, the uh, dollar, the, uh, sorry, the euro, the pound, dollar backed. We've got dollar news coming out at 130. Uh, we we'll call retail sales. Uh, which which could create some uh, volatility sitting around them. If we haven't got any volatility by then, <laughs> we should have. Um, so could get some kickers then. Okay, dolly yen. And suspected yesterday uh, from these lows here and what with the rhetoric uh, from the uh, Bank of Japan, we've seen a bit more follow through on the to the upside here. This uh, could well continue some more. We've got the, still got the weekly pivot untouched above us, which could provide a decent target. Of course, if we start selling off, we, we have got the daily pivot as a target below, but uh, we'll see how things roll. But uh, I've got a feeling we could, with this sort of trend that's starting to develop, nice steady 45 degree angle. Um, it looks pretty robust at the moment. Aussie dollar. Aussie once again is is got back to these highs, and uh, I was concerned how we how it might meet these highs. It's sort of uh, there's been this sort of each time well, the first time it got up there to the on the uh, last month there, and then late last month it's pushed up on the 30th once again. It's 31st and then the first it's just not managing to get breaking breaking through that 77. Uh, area it's, and it's just folding over at the moment again and it's just rolling quite strongly so it does suggest a bit of weakness up there um, at this juncture They're looking at the uh, 60 minute chart which just got back towards its daily pivot here and it does and it, well could possibly just follow through on that but, uh, uh, again I need to see post eight o'clock if it starts rolling through it could be on for its 50 maybe s1 Canadian dollar. Okay, Canadian dollar yesterday continued this uh, sell-off. Um, it's putting a, a bullish harami over the uh, on the four hourlies, um, but then well, chopped all over the place. But it's still well, maybe get a bit more of a bounce from where it's sitting here. Um, there was a suggested agreement starting to happen on the oil price, and we've seen oil push up into its daily. Uh, sorry, yeah, uh, monthly hour one. Uh, just having a reaction to that and the prior highs at the moment. That in its itself is uh, obviously affecting the Canadian dollar. Now we have got news out uh, for, which at 3 o'clock. We've got the uh, Bank of Canada's uh, monetary uh, policy report, uh, 
and bank rate statement, etc. So um, analysts are expecting it to stay the same at 0.5, but there was there's always a sort of a threat that you may even reduce it further. But at the moment, it's 0.5. If it stays where it is, that's pretty much bought into the market. So uh, don't expect big movements, but we could get some volatility then. Um, the crude inventories uh, are out at 3.30, which again could give a bit of a kicker to the Canadian dollar. So it's at 3.30. They, they um, reduced significantly last time. Uh, another significant reduction may, may well see oil push up and obviously the Canadian dollar push down. So it's something to watch for at that time. Okay, um, there's not much else on this. It's just sorry, just come down to 60 minutes. So we've got Canadian dollar almost into its daily pivot here. If it can break uh, again, get above that uh, post eight o'clock, it may then push on for the 34 stroke and 50 MAs are one sort of area. So may have some potential movement in that, but it really depends on how fast uh, oil comes off, I think. Right, that's it for me. Hope you have a great one. Bye for now.